Hey, howdy, Astro here. And before we start this video, I have to say that there might be a little, de not a delay in the project. Uh, but it took me a little while to find the right, not frame rate, but the right size for this game to actually work and record on my computer. So please do not judge its graphics right now. It's because it's like a 400 by 300 little screen. And I really wanted to play this game for y'all. Um, fo I followed them on Twitter, which I believe it's One Taps Games, which they'll show it at the end, just to, just to be sure. But I love the humor in this game. I love the way it looks. It's a it's a it's a two D. You're living it. Okay, I'll explain that in my synopsis that I have written up. This is, that way, I'm not stuttering over myself trying to think of words. But like I said, it's created by One Taps Game, a one man army. So he's I think he's working on this by himself. And he had a birthday recently. Uh, it's January 22nd now, so it's a few days ago. So happy birthday to him, or them. It's you play as a 2D ghost living in a 3D world, and they went for a 3D Game Boy like style. You just arrive, and you're going on a journey to get back to the world of the living, but you may not be the only one. It's a reflex type shoot 'em up combat game. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of hidden items and rooms. There's a few evil bosses and a funny jokes here and there. Like I said, I love the humor, which in the demo. It's not as showcased as much as I think it should be, but it's still just a wide world that you can explore. And if you don't follow them on Twitter, then please fix that. It's amazing. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. There is a place where souls go after death. They all arrive with pending issues, unsolved business, or regrets from their life and that is why they all try to go back however at some point they stop trying or someone makes them stop hello it is me I have died let us go uh, now this is something I actually missed my first time playing it is that there's a hidden uh, item right here which you can find yourself a good old potion which to heal is to press C. Once we are separated from the body, our experience is unlimited. So I did have to play through it once or twice just to make sure it all works and everything. Uh, and this should be the resolution that works. So again, please don't judge how it looks right now. Like, go get the game for yourself. It looks pretty dang cool. Next! Welcome to the afterlife. Yes, you are dead. No big deal. Here your soul will rest peacefully. As long as you stay out of trouble. Hmm? What? You already want to go back to life? But you just got here. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sure you have your own reasons. In fact, I can check that. Let's take a look at your record. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, I understand why you'd like to go back. Excuse me one moment, please. Un momento, por favor. Well, alrighty. I'm read your notes. Afterlife, a place to die for. A place to die for. <laughs> and I'm a pet your dog. You pet the ghost boy. That's gonna give him some points on that one Twitter uh, page. I completely forgot what it's called. Or can you pet the dog? And yes, I can confirm, you can pet the dog in Afterlife. You hear a voice in the distance. Voice. There are some pending issues on the record. It could be a problem. What if the soul hears about the portal? You know it needs to be done. Hmm, what is this mysterious portal? Which, I still don't know what it is. And here is our first little tidbit of fighting. You want to get in the way of Dr. Crow's plans? I actually have no idea what kind of voice I should give. Let's do this! So this is what they meant by reflex like. And it is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, because I don't know if it's the small screen or what. But it's very... Fast pace left and right. Like I click the button and it goes phew. Click the button again and go phew. Um, but besides that, it's pretty fun. It reminds me of the um, that one pong game, not pong, but like breakout, where the ball bounces in the paddle and the paddle just goes foo foo foo. Anyways, battle was over. You win. By the way, I'm the narrator. Nice to meet you. See you in the next fight. All right, Mr. Narrator. I tried to warn you, you're not the only one looking for a way to go back, you know. If you send away, they will destroy you. Hope nobody tells Dr. Crow what I just did. I must warn Dr. Crow. I 
already forgot my own voice. It's fine. Hey, let's go ahead and explore this little village, because I forgot what each one says. My house is empty because material stuff can't buy you happiness. You broke. Just kidding, I am poor. <laughs> See, like, stuff like that, like, mwah, that's some top quality, uh, things. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Hi, I'm the Mayor of Alpha Town. Well, not really. I just like to pretend I am. Powerpuff Girls! I, I forgot how that mayor talks. Okay, so again, like my first time, I thought this was a cell phone. Like, I mean, now I can tell it's a bed. But at first I was like, that's a giant cell phone. Dr. Crow's army puts a tower on the east side of town. I wonder what's in there. And then this is just a floating table. Not so cool when you're eating through. Eating though. <laughs> I really like the music in this game as well. And, oh, hello. Welcome to Mysterious Building number three. Legend says that if you visit all mysterious buildings in the correct order, something magical will happen. I guess you'll have to look for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, invented that legend. But I really think it's true. Why else would they be numbered? Which, I don't even know if those are actually in the devil or not, because, oh no. I got all emotional when I compliment contemplate the horizon. Here I stand, all by myself, trying to find a way back to life. Why can't I leave it all behind? Does it really matter anymore? Hmm. Alright, that's enough. Man, I, I don't even remember that being a part of this game. Huh, I was just trying to walk on out of here. Interesting. I did, I did not figure that out last time. And then he's just gonna see it again. It'd be nice if they played like um some slower music or something. Ah, I'm off the screen. Nee, 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 nee. Which I mean, that's new to me. <laughs> so I'm glad we did find something new in this playthrough here. Hello. Everybody knows Dr. Crow is looking for a portal to go back to life. I'm happy here. Why go back? Is this your fridge? Fridge is closed for lock. Food must be very expensive here. Yeah, well you think they're all dead. Yeah, no, the beds don't look uh very comfortable. I was trying to remember the word that was already on the screen. Hey, buddy. You have to, you have to stop Dr. Crow. If he finds the portal, he'll become unstoppable. <laughs> we are not supposed to visit the ruins. No, that's not a Mario voice. I'm sorry. It's a me. We are not supposed to visit the ruins. Now that I said that, you totally want to go, don't you? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. That's kind of a terrible Mario voice impression. But, uh, besides that creepy guy who appears and disappears, I don't really think there's anything else in here. Uh, I don't explore at that one point. Door is locked. Oh, shoot. Okay. Time to leave. And so we do have to climb the tower. But we'll talk to that lab. I think there's one more guy we can talk to. Which I think he's a oh, sign. And a free Wi-Fi zone. Start a free Wi-Fi zone. Hmm. Well, as long as I stand there, I should be good. I don't know. You can't go to Waterfall Town. An important discovery has been made there, and it's being studied by our evil army. I mean, our group of nice people. Yeah, not evil at all. Hey, boss. You can't enter to this tower. There's something inside that you shouldn't see. What's that? They don't come with the destroyer for nothing. Okay. Is this a shotgun? Ooh, no, what is that? But, uh... Oh, actually, this guy didn't exactly give me trouble the first time. Woo! There is someone who is. Battle is over. You destroyed him. <laughs> I am the narrator. This is my narrating voice. I should maybe turn down my my mic audio, and maybe the music as well. But I found I felt like this was a good balance between them. We are gonna grab another potiones. Okay, so there's another one, another brick like this one right here, uh, along one of the walls. I thought it was a secret. Ah, dang it, I used up a potion. <laughs> but you can't really interact with it. No, it wasn't you. I have to stop you right here. I'm ready, let's go. This guy didn't give me too much trouble either. But, I guess now that I'm saying that he is. It's like, you just gotta hit him before he moves, right? Or as he moves. Yeah! He's down. Battle is over. You win! You won. Zero XP! Haha. <laughs> Whoa, it doesn't matter in this game. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. If it makes you feel better, let's say you want 100 EXP. All right. Hey, bud. You didn't disappear like the last guy. I should have taken those fighting lessons like my mother told me. Aw, oh, poor champ. It's a okay. We all can't be winners. Okay. I'm trying to remember this guy gave me a problem. Where do you think you are going? I'm going around to you. I'll send you to the afterlife. Or the after afterlife. Oh yeah, this is the shotgun guy. This stuff was kind of annoying. But he doesn't move all too much. So I guess as long as I stay in the middle, I'll stay okay. Mm. Battle is over. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm pressing up not Z. You won. Wow, I never thought you'd get this far. No offense. <laughs> Alright, you beat me, but you'll never beat our boss. That's what you think, but I've had some practice. Now this, this is the little schmuck that's been giving me issues. Oh man, I don't want to fight. It's my first day as a bad guy. What, what do I do now? <laughs> I'll, I'll just start shooting if, if that's okay. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this that's... Uh. Yeah, I think this is the part that was relatively annoying. Whew, like I said, I've gotten used to the controls. I got some practice in my bones. Like, let's see if we can't do this. We can do this without dying. Battle was over. You won. I guess you should practice more. Well, it's only his first day. You missed it the last time. I was the first time I was playing. He beat me like three times. Okay, you won. Leave me alone. But ha ha, I'm spinning circles around you, cause that's what I've been doing. Ha ha. Granted, yes, I like I said, I had practice, but uh, still. Okay, now look at this room. It's a normal room, right? Well, when you walk, a one, two, three, four, five, six. Ha. -ha. There it is, a hidden path to another note, and more potions, which we are going to need against a big boss. Let's see. The portal gates will only open for the one who is in possession of the eight keys. Ooh. Usually I feel like it's like the seven keys for like the seven wonders, or like a bigger number, like 10 or 13, you know? I feel like eight, you never really get, you know, that much in like, as an eight. I guess you can say. Uh, what up, boy? Escape while you can! Alright, if you're not running away, let's fight. Yeah, dude. I think... I don't know. I like the way it runs and it plays. Well, it's, I mean... It's, it's a recording, I, can't, I don't like the way it runs, because it, it's always laggy. But I like the way it plays, I like the way it runs. I feel like our, our shooting ability is a little overpowered. But I feel like at the same time, it, it does a good enough damage to bullet ratio. Because like with this, I'm just spamming, I'm clicking Z, 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 right? I think you're getting the hang of it. But at the same time, it's like, I can just sit there and spam, 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 spam if that's what their thing is, you know? Uh, You found a book. It's called How to Win Every Battle. But you forgot your reading glasses. Maybe an enemy can read it to you. Hey guys, you uh, know how to read? I am guarding the first key to the portal. If you want it, you have to defeat us, and we all sound the same for some reason. This is going to be too easy. Is he like, I don't know. Like, his is a homing one, so I do kind of have to move. But, I get it. <laughs> ah, I guess on the smaller screen, it's a little harder to, uh... Oh, I was about to say get a psychic out of the way. But bam, 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 hit him the one, two, three combo. Battle is over. You win. Now, go get that key. I mean, if you want to. Uh, nah, let's go. Let's head out. Nah, I'm kidding. No, I don't think I went to the bottom without the key. So I'm going to go do that. I do want to read that note, though. There's a... Uh, yeah, we'll let you figure out that note and everything. And I mean, if I walk out of here with nothing, well, we'll have to see what the big boss is, you know? Because every, every other time I've done that, I just grab the key and go. So we'll have to see if I have to come back or not. And I did like this first floor, because it's just a straight hallway. So I'm like, oh yeah, we just got out of there. We're, we're feeling big, we're feeling tough. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's see. Oh yeah, see, he ain't here yet. Okay. So I doubt, I don't know what, uh, what, what, uh, what else there is behind this game. Oh, and now that I'm actually looking at the walls, I guess there's a bit more of these weird, uh, drawer opening looking blocks here. 
But I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just me thinking, uh, thinking too much about it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, now we're gonna walk back up, like I said. But you know, we're getting in our cardio, getting in our steps. We may be a ghost, but that doesn't mean we can't look after our figure, you know. So let's get back in. Let's read this note. Death is not the end of life. You found a key. Oh man, who said that quote? Oh yeah, because I mean... No, I really have to tell Dr. Krill. I'm trying to remember uh, what quote that was. Um, and, what, and what that's from. Because I feel like it's a pretty famous quote. Like, death is not the end of life. And it's not the start of it either. But it's like... It's... I feel like it's more of a religious thing. Because, you know, after... Especially my religion, you know, we die, we go to heaven. So just because we're dead doesn't mean... Metaphorically, we don't stop living. And uh, like Dios de los Muertes, uh, as long as you're remembered, you're still technically alive. Uh, as far as, I, as my understanding of it goes, and with religion, again, going to heaven and everything, you're still, you're not living, but you're not gone. So, you're the one that w they warned me about. You really want to find the portal, huh? I won't let you do that. <laughs> After life. End of demo. Thanks for playing. Game over, I guess. <laughs> Follow us at twitter.com slash one taps games for updates. Yeah. And then I guess I, I guess I can't do anything else here. Unless there was something else there, because I click Z again and I was like, yeah, nothing. Anyways, yeah, no, this was a game I've, that's been on my playlist for a little while. I was hoping for a bit more instead of just a demo, but I understand, you know, it's when development's still uh, putting stuff done. I've seen all their stuff on Twitter, and it's like, it's hilarious. One of my favorite ones is that he's talking to a dog, and he's like, I can't have a private conversation without someone listening. And then the guy comes and like, no, I'm not, or that I'm being watched. And then he's like, ah, my bad, or something. And then he's like, and no one ever listens to me. And then the dog speaks up, is like, oh, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? And the guy goes, oh, never mind. But like, I don't know, just stuff like that, little things like that. It's just, it's great. And there's a lot of meta jokes in it. Uh, like for his birthday one, the main character was like, I gotta get this cake to the boss, you know, to the creator. And then it's like one of the little crown demons is like, oh, well, I don't believe in this such creator and blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, he uh, floats up to the sky the building he was guarding moves closer, and the main character's like, hmm, you're, you're, you have a very good way of convincing people, don't you? <laughs> and I, again, I just, that cracked me up. But this has been Afterlife. If you're interested in, in this game, I, I, hopefully I remember to put in their itch.io into the description. If not, just look up Afterlife or OneTaps Games. Follow them on Twitter. Please give this guy the support he deserves. Anyways, I'm Ice Richard. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know that whole deal. Maybe I should be saying that this is supposed to be more about the indie games, but we'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to say, stay kind, be awesome. Tip which is a heck of a whole lot. I'll be seeing all of y'all next time. Peace out.